Hello, everyone. How are you guys? I hope that you are having a wonderful day so far. I really, really genuinely mean that because um, we all deserve to have a good day and to kind of, you know, have some positive vibes around us. So I hope that you guys are having a really, really good day and that you'll join me as I not only go down memory lanes, but share some ideas that I personally have scrapbooked using some of the paper kits that we currently have in the shop that are on sale right now. Um, only through tomorrow. I think tomorrow is the last day. So make sure um, if there's something that you love, take advantage of it, get it while you can, because of course, that's kind of the curse of paper. It's like when you see the really cute paper, it goes into another print and it's gone. So, um, but only if, of course, if you have a use for it, because I'm a big believer in that, like buy what you use and use what you buy. So um, it's really nice though, to have some of the Kiwi Club kits. <laughs> Sorry, I keep going out of my head, but it is nice to have some of them because they make it really simple and easy because of our Kiwi Lane theory of how we manufacture and produce kits is something that we put a lot of thought into. Um, so it is refreshing to have some of those on hand, even though we all have plenty of paper, I'm sure for the most part. Um, but when I need something to be simple, when I sit down a scrapbook, I usually pull for a Kiwi Club or a Kiwi Lane paper kit because I know that it will take some of that initial frustration, not frustration, but just some of that initial thought process out of, you know, out of the process <laughs> and kind of eliminates one of those steps. And when I'm up for a little bit more or have a little bit more energy, I tend to pull for my other kits. So it's nice to have a variety on hand. And um, of course I can't talk highly enough of, I, we, we love the quality of paper. That's something that we kind of miss with some of the new paper kits. I remember back in the day, like all the paper companies would do, the nicer quality of thicker paper, 80 pound or whatever, at least 65, but some of the thinner ones are harder to work with unless you're backing it. Um, just depends on your project, like backing it with cardstock. So, all right, I think some of you guys are jumping on. And like I said, I'm really excited to pull out my scrapbooks. And I think there's a lot to be gained when we pull out of our scrapbooks. So I highly encourage you guys to pull out your own scrapbooks. Um, kind of hard in this frame to get a two to get my full album in here but I'll try my best on this um let me switch gears here remove and let's pin there we go did I my, my view change I think I did perfect um but yeah it's really really um nice to pull out your scrapbooks for multiple reasons right it's it's nice to go down memory lane it's nice to be reminded of good times or fun times or gratitude for certain life experiences and lessons that have been part of your personal journey. And ultimately that's what we're doing, right? We're documenting our story and through our lens, through our creative expression lens. And so it's really nice to pull it out for that, but there's also so much inspiration to be had just within our own scrapbooks. If you maybe find yourself in a rut um, there's plenty of times where I pull out my scrapbook and I am pleasantly surprised, right? Sorry, guys, I'm going to move you up just a tad and see if we can actually get a full frame in here. Is that a little better? Let me push that just a little bit more. Sorry, almost done. Okay, hopefully that's a little bit better. Hello guys, hey Valerie, hey Gail, hey Tina, how are you guys? All right, so starting off with, this is, um, this is actually, I pulled one out. This is the best day ever pocket paper kit that we have. I've cut into this one already, I've used it multiple times, so this isn't how it would definitely would come to you, but it's really nice because it does come with um, a lot of papers to use. So if you are a pocket scrapbooker, for example, this is just an example I used um, in in the pocket style. Um, of course, really for me, pocket scrapbooking, one of the things that I like is to add that creative touch um, to really play and to create inside of the pockets, but also, you know, it, it kind of breaks it down. Um, if you're a little overwhelmed by 12 by 12, it gives you little sections to focus on and almost treat each one as a thing. 
So there's a lot of benefits there, but for me, I'm, I'm always, um, people always ask me, oh, do you do pocket scrapbooking? You do 12 by 12, do you do one pagers? And I'm like, I'm kind of all of the above. Like it just depends on the need, right? So um, in this case, I really enjoyed using this this way. Again, any pockets, I just add little accents there, which really feel and make it feel substantial. On this layout, I use the same thing. I use best day ever pocket, but I had more pictures filling in those sections. So I just did a few pockets on those ones. So this was the eclipse. Man, that feels so long ago, you guys. 2017, that feels so long ago, right? So I just wanted to show that kind of an action. This is also where I used this pocket paper kit. This was a us building a chicken coop. We did like a whole remodel of a house once and this was fun. We had all the kids go pick out a chicken and um, I used Tiny Celebrate here. So if someone's wondering, I used the little paisley from Tiny Celebrate and just add a little peek on there and the, the pinwheel from there. So that was really fun. And I love the brightness of this kit. It's, it's got a playful brightness, but as you can see, I went from, you know, eclipse pictures to um, Eli learning to ride his bike. That's always a fun first. I always enjoy seeing those milestones in my kid's life and, and um, witnessing it. That's always a great feeling, of course. And learning something new. We're never too old to, to learn something new, even like riding a bike. So that's a couple pocket pages using this kit. While I'm on this kit, um, and feel free to take some screenshots of these because I'm gonna kind of be going through them just really pointing out the versatility of some of these pockets um, or, or any of the paper kits currently that we just have in the shop. And also in hopes that some of these ideas inspire you. But I remember at the time when we released this one, I also decided to use you know, the different sizes of papers, because this is just, um, this is six inches by 12 is the biggest one, but then you get a vast majority of other ones. So like you get 10, three by four size sections, 11, four by, sorry, three, four by fours, four, four by sixes, six, four by 12 and a half. So it's not 12 inches, it's 12 and a half. And I'll tell you why we designed it that way. Um, two, six by eights and two, uh, six by 12 and a half. So so you get a lot of sections in there. One to simplify if you do need or have a need for pocket scrapbooking, those really make it nice and easy. But the reason why we end up doing that, <laughs> actually, this is a good example because this was a prototype that I remember I designed with. So you could tell because the color is a little different, but um, we realized that 12 inches on these pocket page protectors, you need that 12 and a half. So we designed it to be 12 and a half. But if you're doing a 12 page inch, then of course, like in this case, I used one of those six by 12 and a half strips. I just cut it down because this is 12 inches, right? So all of these one pagers, I just went through and I was like, I wonder how many one pagers I can make using these little, um, pieces of papers and just different things that come in this, those pocket paper kits. So that's really fun. So I made all of these. These were really fun layouts. I just had these random pictures of, I remember just enjoying this, I think because of the bright paper. So that's the best day ever pocket paper kit. And I just wanted to show that so people know the difference. There's only two of those left. We used to have like seize the day in there. Um, and just different ones, but those are the ones that we currently have left in the shop. So hopefully that's helpful. Um, also here, let me show you just so everyone's familiar. I won't keep doing this and I'm gonna have to run, go back and forth, it looks like. So yeah, here. Oh. Two seconds, let me see if I can master this or not. Share screen, there we go. Okay, so hopefully all of you guys can see that. So I'm just over in the shop underneath the paper kits and I'm gonna be showing you samples using, you know, most of these ones. The Mary card pack, you can see a lot of samples in there, but this best day ever pocket paper kit right here, the one I just showed you guys. 
Um, there's more samples, of course, in here. Let me see what actually these samples, oh, like uh, some layout kits that Shiloh created. That's cute. Those are the ones that I just showed you. So it's always different to see it in person, I think. So those are cute though, those are some of Shiloh's. So there's a couple more ideas really showcasing this pocket paper kit on that one. So um, hopefully that's helpful. Okay, so the other one that I wanted to show you guys is my guy. I think that was, well, handmade homemade. I was just about to say, I think it was one of my favorites, but honestly, um, I'll tell you, I think the handmade or homemade, happiness is homemade, I think is what it's called. And we'll get to that one. It was really fun too. So this one is the My Guy double layout kit. And honestly, I really loved it because it's totally got a different vibe than any other layout kits. And that's what we were going for. We really wanted something that could reflect and um, be used towards more masculine, but also capture kind of an outdoor. Cause we always try to add diversity to when we're designing something to make sure that there's multiple ways and you can use that. So um, here's a really cute layout that Shiloh did, of course. And um, she has some awesome pictures of, you know, her, her husband, Jim and stuff. Looks like out exploring, which is a lot of fun. Just any outdoor pictures. This one, um, uh, Debbie, I believe, designed. And so again, just her son, I believe he was getting ready to go on his mission. So it doesn't have to be like outdoors. It, you can also add kind of that more um, formal design, like formal pictures to it as well. And I love that. Okay, so let me stop sharing. Let me go back. So hopefully that all worked and we didn't lose anyone in the mix there. Let me go back to your comma. So Yasmin, um, yes, I wanted to show you guys, because one, if you have these papers, hopefully I encourage you guys to pull them out and start creating something with it or go to the shop and find some inspiration. And if you don't have these yet and you want to purchase them, then tomorrow is the last day that the sale is there. Of course, you can buy them when they're not on sale, but why not get them while they're on sale, right? Okay. All right. So let me show you my guy. So I showed you Shiloh's and some layouts that Debbie designed um, as well a while ago. This is one that I designed, again, really capturing outdoor memories. So if you have outdoor memories, this is a perfect kit for it really enjoyed it. This is just like a little stay vacay that me and David did. So that was a lot of fun um, back in 2016. And I, I love the little a la carte pine. That was really cute on this. Um, these other ones I believe are from Kiwi Club kits. So, okay, so there's one layout. And then I did this one. This one we did live together. I remember doing this one because of the title. Um, I, I really wanted to customize what was happening in the pictures because we were just all being silly. But um, so again, just showing you the versatility of this kit is really great. What happens at the lake stays at the lake. Yeah, so that was a really fun layout. Um, let me see if I have, I tried to organize them. I feel like I had one more that I designed with this kit, but maybe I didn't pull it out of my scrapbooks. The trick is going to be to go back into my scrapbooks and put these back where they go, but worth it, worth it. All right, another one that I wanted to show you guys was over on, um, let me see here. in the shop, it's called, yeah, let's pull that back up for a moment. Um, on the bright side. So one of the things that we hear often is people mentioning they like bright paper, right? When it comes to our Kiwi Clubs, we, we will go back and forth and we do that intentionally. Like we might do some that are a little bright, then we might go back to more neutral colors, then we might go to more subtle or more warm colors um more um casual colors you know it just depends but this bright side clearly just by the name is if you love bright and you enjoy the bright things about it then this kit is a lot of fun and this is what you know here's a, a good example of it um 
that I just end up capturing these three pictures of my kiddos. I just happen to have some five by sevens from a print. So it was nice to kind of get those on. And I feel like it was just, it just had that playful um, kid like, you know, um, more of that playful, young, playful feel in, in it as well. But on these ones, you'll see here on the sample. Oh, I don't think I was showing that. Sorry, I'll come back to that. So this one is just some lake pictures. And then this one right here that I have in front of me, there's many more using this, but it's a really fun, fun one. So like I said, I just feel like it, if you love bright, just know it is very bright, the bright side. <laughs> it's really, really bright. But the yellow tones it down, like if you would have chose this one as your background instead, but I really love that one. That one's really, really cute on that as well. Um, I should receive my paper tomorrow. So excited. Oh, Karen. Well, good. You already kind of went through the, through the ordering process. Oh, Gal Gal Valerie, that makes me so happy that you're making new friends through Kiwi Lane. I have made a lot of new friends through Kiwi Lane. So through my own personal journey of Kiwi Lane. Okay. So here is some samples <clears throat> using the happiness is homemade one. I don't know how many left we have at this one in the shop, but I, I don't know. I just love the comfort feeling that this kit kind of gives. Um, and so I loved that, that essence. And for us, when we had, you know, in Idaho, there was just so many pictures. Like these are pictures of my, I don't even know. I think they did a photo shoot because I found them. I didn't take these pictures. My daughter took them. Um, which at this point in this age of Riley, it was just nice to see that part of her because she often was more camera shy. It seems like kids go through that phase. So I love you like a, a, um, a bee loves honey. So fun, so fun. And on this one, on the bee, I think I even expressed this on a blog, but so this little heart is from the middle of the heart to heart a la carte. So this, these are the um, a la carte and it comes with two different hearts. And so this is how I made all of those. And then on the B, all I did was just take the one part of the heart, right? So I cut this part of the heart off and then I cut one of, or traced one of these onto a piece of paper and then just cut the small heart to make the little B wing. Um, so this was a lot of fun. And then other than that, all I used the, the banner here, right? And then, this piece that I had extra, I put over here on this side of this layout. So that's all I use. And then I only use the all heart, heart to heart. And then I did use one from the country accessory set. This was a really fast layout that came together. I remember just really loving the simplicity um, that was on this layout. Here's another one I made with that same kit featuring Riley again. <laughs> she had this tree house and she would spend so much time up there and it was such an important, I think, um, time, you know, at age 13, 14, it was so important to her have this kind of escape place and her and her cat would go hang out in the tree. And so she took some of these pictures and I just happened to find them. And so all of these pictures were credited to Riley. But the other set that I loved with this paper kit is the nature accessory set. So on this, this layout, I use chestnut border and only elements from um, the nature accessory set and tiny nature because I layered some of the tiny accessory on top of the accessory. So that was also a really fun thing too. And if you don't know on the nature set, you can take the little flower that comes in that set, but use it with the arrow and it creates this tree. So if that sparks your interest, check it out on the, on the online. It's the nature or tiny nature accessory set. Cool. Okay, here's one more using that same paper kit. Like I said, I loved it. Um, and I still have leftover paper of this because again, our layout kits, they create two double, um, they're a double layout kit, so they kit create two two page layouts. Every time I say that, I'm like, it's a tongue twister. Two two page layouts <laughs> because everyone, is different. Some people count pages by just one and some people are like, 
a spread is one layout, but some people are like, no, this is a one pager, this is a two pager. Um, so yeah, so over here, happiness is homemade. So anyway, so I still have some of the scraps because I only, I bought, I think I bought, literally, yes, I buy them. Um, yes, I get a discount, but still, I remember I was like, I need multiple of this kit. It was great. So this is the one, it's so cute. So these are some samples that Shiloh made. Of course, if we pulled out her scrapbooks, we'll get a whole different look. So she used the country accessory set here. I love how she used the both sides of the scallop. You'll see the scallop and then the, the excess age, see how, or edge. She just took that down and um, create kind of like a, a river of those two going across her page. That was such a cute layout. I think that's when I fell in love. I was like, oh my gosh, I need these because they played with it first and then I played with it second because it was assigned to them and I was too busy at the time. <laughs> um, but yeah, again, if you have any like at the farm or family pictures, don't just think farm, family pictures, or if you just even love that style and the expression that comes with that, then it's really cute. And those are all the country accessory sets. So if you also love that style, then you have to have country accessory set because it's so fun. So that is happiness is homemade. So I remember in the live, I actually wanted to show two versions. So what I did is that layout that I just showed you of Shiloh, because I think this is always fun to point out to different versions of the same look, right? So let me pull that one really quickly back up so that we're all on the same page of what I'm talking about. This one, okay, I used that as my springboard. So um, inspiration is great and you can, it's your version. So at the end of the day, you created it. And so here's that one and then here's mine. So I used different papers, of course. I added a couple different elements that I believe was part of the Kiwi Club kit when I actually scrapbooked this page. And then of course, just these are from the Kiwi Club kits too, but these are from the country accessory. And then this is just showing, I think I did 2A and 2B. She did the smaller scallop, I did the medium scallop. But so when you trace and cut this one, you'll have this extra edge. I don't use it all the time, but it is fun sometimes to, to keep that excess and then incorporate it into your design as well. So. This was fun. I remember this was a long work day and it was, I went out to the patio and the kids, you know, just came and usually you're just like, I want quiet, but they, their energy rubbed off on me. And I was just so grateful that, that, you know, that they came and they showed their love. And that was really much appreciated after that long day. And it, it cheered me up. It changed my mood and I was really grateful for it. So sometimes we all just need to check out for a little bit, regroup, chill, relax, and then come back, right? So, okay, so that is the happiness is homemade one. Let me see if you guys have any questions. Um, oh, good, Janet, I'm glad that it's helping you. So hopefully, again, like even if you don't have these paper kits, lots of ideas to be found. If you already have these paper kits, hopefully you're encouraged to pull it out and find some awesome pictures to go with them. And if you don't have the kits yet and you're loving them, then don't miss your opportunity to buy them while they're on sale. They're 25% off any of the paper kits, whether that's card kits, double layout kits, or the pocket paper kits are 25% off through tomorrow is the last day. We've been spotlighting them for the last week or two weeks. And, um, but if you buy five or more, <clears throat> excuse me, they're 50% off and the discount is taken off at checkout. Okay. All right, so this kit is one that we were playing with the other day, um, which is the World is My Playground one. So I'll just kind of show you guys those again and highlight it. So this kit is, um, of course, really fun. I, I enjoy it. It's probably the second kit, well, Happiness Homemade is the one that I've just kept using over and over again. I found so many fun ways to use it and um, different ways to use that kit. I was just looking, I must have, 
Oh, no, not, I must have missed pulling out my other samples. Sorry, hold on, just squirrel. Anyways, so here is this one right here. Again, I made a few samples. I'm trying to think where's, yeah, the world is my playground. So once again, these, these type of styles of layouts, I don't know about you guys, but they're really hard to find. Ones that are not necessarily like flower things. Flowers are really great to have. I love pretty papers, <laughs> pretty papers, right? But these, I just love the change of tone that a little bit different than the more traditional like that we see more often, right? I don't feel like you see a lot of paper kits that are kind of more approached to it or, or more to this approach, right? So those were, um, like I said, lots of fun. These are some that Shiloh created. I love that one, it's so cute. I love on this layout. So she took the gears here, right? And that's Cascade Trail in the yellow. And I love how she intertwined that. Um, Cascade Trail is a lot, it's, it's a classic. It's been around for a while and it's so much fun to use. So if it's been a while since you pulled out the trails, hopefully that inspired you to pull out your trail set. And then of course, mine was a, a fun family trip that we took um, over here in South Carolina. We went and visited and heard of all the stories. It was a very historical moment for my kids as far as learning history and, and exploring history. We actually did it part of our school day that day. That was really fun. And then we also did a trip to the zoo, which is also part of our school day. <laughs> so, cause we homeschool. So it's really fun to do outings, you know, field trips. We could do field trips often. There's so much to be learned, I think, in having that hands-on experience and just the joy that comes from being and experiencing that in person. It, it sticks more, the memory of it sticks more. And also the, the lessons that you're learning, I think stick more too, so. That was a really, really fun kit. So, okay, so that is kind of the ones that I was gonna show you guys. There's tons, tons more, but I can go on and on, of course. Um, so make sure to check those out here. Um, I wish I would have pulled out, but it would take me a minute. I thought I did, that's what's killing me. This one right here, School Days. Uh, I don't think that one's sold out yet. No, it's not. Okay, so this one, I loved the designs of this one as well. Let's see if we can find a full layout here. Looks like Amy put in some screenshots. So again, it is what it is. It's for good school memory. So if you have school memories, check this one out. Um, really cute from that point of view as well. Um, I'll have to find mine and maybe jump on later because I didn't pull those out. And even on the cards, if you're a card maker, um, check out these, or if you're just tapping into card making, then uh, make sure to check out these, these kits that we have in the shop that really, again, um, take some of that guessing work away because um, they're already not just coordinated, but they're actually um, designed with strategy inside of our kits. We really try to think of some of those common things that we dealt with with other paper kits and kind of try to find a solution to them. So, oh, the other pocket paper kit, just like the one, the best day ever one, is the time to shine. So kind of the same ways that you can use this. You can use it as pocket pages. You can create some one pagers. So this was, um, these are really cute layouts too. I must have, I should have pulled those out of my scrapbooks. I'm not sure where those are. Well, I'm sure they're in my scrapbooks, but somehow I missed them when I was going through my scrapbooks. So, <laughs> you know, but either way, I hope that you guys are encouraged to, to pull out your scrapbooks. I have the sun like in my face to pull out your scrapbooks to, if you need a little bit of a booster, like you're feeling a little down or lonely. Um, I hope that you pull out your scrapbooks and that you find joy in them. Sometimes they, you know, we can go through it and be sad or, or miss somebody, but 
really just being appreciative of those moments that we did have and um, letting that kind of sink in and be a part of us, right? So hopefully that encourages you guys to do that and, and or um, use them for inspiration. So really pulling on them to, to inspire you in different ways as well. So, all right, guys, I will leave you for the day. Um, of course, make sure to share with us whatever you create. I love being inspired by you as well. And keep playing, keep creating, and keep connecting. We'll talk soon. Bye now.